What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're doing something absolutely crazy. We are opening up brand new RLC Hot Wheels cars. This is absolutely crazy. I paid for these all myself, and I'm not an RLC member, so I did pay the premium price. We bought them, we're gonna open them fully, and I'm not just gonna open them and just show you just on the little stand. We're actually going to unscrew them off completely, and we're gonna get a very, very good close-up look at each one of these cars. And the first one that we'll start with is the 2017 Ford Raptor RLC car. This is the brand new one with the camo on it. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one up. I'll grab my X-Acto knife. All of these cars are individually numbered as well, and I have no idea what the numbers are because, well, obviously I haven't opened them yet. So uh, if they're low serial numbers, they technically have a lot of value, but I really don't care about the value of them because you know what? We're just here to open them up and see what they look like. All right, so let's see the packaging on this one. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, so it's got some sort of like camo Hot Wheels on there, Ford Raptor, really nice feeling box on there. And on the top, we have the 2017 Ford Raptor with some nice logoing. And let's see what the number of this one is. This one is 9,350 of 25,000. All right, perfect, cool, cool, cool. You can see the two screws at the bottom right here, which we're gonna unscrew so we can take the car completely apart. But let's see our first unveiling of our first one. There it is, the Ford F-150 Raptor. And we're gonna go ahead and take it right out right here. So I believe I can just press these little side pieces out a little bit. There we go. And then that should just pop it right off. Come on, get out of here. There we go. We'll just we'll pull it out. There we go. All right, we've got it out. And there is the car itself. And the special feature of this one is, is it does have the little back thing that comes down right there. Isn't that cool? All right, so that little thing comes down. It snaps back up very, very nicely as well, which is really, really neat. But let's go ahead and unscrew it off of here. All right guys, we're back and that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I actually had to go grab a full size screwdriver because I stripped the screws in here, but we have got them unscrewed. We're gonna actually just completely unscrew them right now. And you can see how long the screws are in this one. Look at how long that is for, for the screws here. So we'll take that one out. We'll take this one out and there we go. Now we can, we got little pieces that held it up there. Now we've got the F-150 Raptor completely out and looking great. And we do have this little thing right here. I don't know, this little rubber piece right here, little elastic here. We'll take that completely out as well. There we go. We've got it completely removed. Hey, Peak Timers. So I'm just editing this video back and I realized I took off those little plastic pieces on the front of the F-150 Raptor. And I didn't realize at the time that the front hood of this F-150 Raptor opens up to show the engine on it, which is really, really cool. The engine's not like super detailed or anything. It's kind of just black, but it's still cool that the hood opens up on it. All right, back to the regular video. So we have a great looking RLC Raptor camo edition, and we got that matte little trunk piece right there that closes. You can see it says Ford on there and Raptor right there. Look at the camo. I absolutely love the camo. Look at this one. Looks fantastic. Real riders, of course, on here being an RLC car. All these cars will have real riders. Look at the detail on the front end as well. The sunroof on there. Just a great looking truck. The F-150 Raptors, it's probably my favorite truck right now. I really, really do like them. But there we go. Our first RLC car opened up. And our next one is the 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS. And this one should definitely be easier to open up right here because it's not in a box. And I don't know if this one is numbered. Oh, it is numbered. Here we go. We do have a number on the top right here. 21,682 of 30,000. All right, cool. Not like I really care though, but here we go. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. And yes, we're not just gonna open it just like this to show you guys. We're completely tearing open the package right here. We're gonna show you what it's all about. So uh, how do we go about this? There's not like any little thing that you go right here. I've never opened one of these before. I think you just peel the back right here. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, this must hurt a lot of you guys seeing me open up our RLC car, but a lot of you guys are like, they're meant to be open. So there we go. 
We've got it, We've got some packaging and stuff. We'll put that aside. And our 69 Camaro, this color is amazing. Wow, just look at that shining light. I know I've already fingerprinted it up there. Just look at that color, it looks so cool. Look at these wheels on here too. Absolutely amazing looking wheels. Very, very cool, rear riders of course. And then we do have the hood that opens up. We've got the detailed engine. Oh my gosh, look at that engine in there. Looks great. Look at the front end right here. I even like how they painted underneath right here. It almost reflects the engine on the inside. You can kind of see that cool. That's really, really neat. We'll go ahead around to the back end right there. Great stamping, temp work, all the proper correct tail lights and all that stuff on there as well. If we close it up, you can even see the striping just right on the side right there, like pin striping right here. But doesn't that look great? Just a fantastic looking Camaro. This is gonna be really cool. And all of these cars, I didn't say yet, but they're all gonna go on my back display right here. They're gonna replace a row of cars on my back display. So you'll be seeing them in future videos as well. But the 69 Camaro SS. And our next one is somewhat of a mystery. It's a pink Hot Wheels logo on here. And some of you might know what it is, Chevrolet. Impala, 64 Impala. This is not no regular Impala as well. This was the most expensive RLC car that I've ever purchased. Um, and it was well over $100 for me to buy. And it is a low rider 64 Impala. So let's go ahead and just open this up and we'll see what the number is of this one right here as well. And there we go, we open it up. Such a cool looking car, you guys are gonna love this. The working suspension on here. All right, so let's flip it over first and see what number this is. Uh, 7878, there we go. Repetitive numbers on there. Uh, again, not like I really care about that much about the numbering because I'm opening them up. So we got uh, little special edition collectors right there on the side and then some stuff right there. All right, let's go ahead and pop it on open right there. And then we'll take this little plastic piece off and then this right here is actually a little mirror that you can put the car on so it kind of looks really cool so we'll go ahead and put that down we'll put the car on there in a second here but there it is and look at this really really cool looking like or feeling velvet right here so it's proper velvet there's no actual screwed in piece or anything like that so it is kind of cool you can just take it right out there so we'll take it out and just check that one out okay very very cool but what's so special about it we flip it around right here and see these right here? The suspension pops up like the lowriders. Look at that. Is that not awesome? And then you can put it down just like that. And you can even have it like down like that if you want to. So you can have it here. I'll, I'll lift it up a little bit so you guys can see. But we can have it sit like that. And I believe you can even angle it as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can angle it. So there we go. So we can angle the front. And then we'll take the back right here. And here, we'll, we'll angle the back a, a different way here. Here we go, we'll angle it like that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our little mirror piece right here. And oh, there we go. So you can have it sit just like that. Is that not awesome? Like, I cannot believe that they made a car like this. Doesn't that look cool? Look at that suspension right there. And if you wanna drop it right to the ground, you just push it right down, then you've got the true low rider right there. Look at how low that goes. Awesome, awesome car. Let's have a look at the detail a little bit closer here. Look at the paint job on here. Just a very weighted, nice feeling to this one as well. And look at the, the nice Spectra Flame paint job on there. 64 Impala back end right there. On the side continues through the gold wheels on that one as well. We look at the front, the nice grill and the great looking paint job. We'll pull these out again so you guys can see it one last time. Like, look at how this the suspension, it just goes right up into there. Just such a great detail. Like, look at that. You can just twist them whichever way you want. Just absolutely amazing. Absolutely love this car. I know I'm saying the craziest words because I just think this is so cool. I, I just love how they did this one. And our next one is the Hot Wheels Thunder Roller. And when I first 
pick this one up. It just feels so heavy and weighted, which I really, really like. Number on this one is, what is it? 1,352 of 20,000. There it is, Thunder Roller on the back right there. So let's go ahead and open this one up completely here. This one's not boxed, it's just on a card. And we'll go ahead and we'll just rip it open just like we did the Camaro. We'll open it up this way right here and it should just pull completely right out. Rip that packaging off right there. And let's just pull it right out right now. Lots of different packaging. Wow, so heavy. I love it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a neat looking big rig right there? Look at that shiny, shiny detail. Look at the detail you have just even on the exhaust that comes up and this little piece that comes up right there from the front end. Look at that, look at the great paint job detail, artwork of all that good stuff. You can kind of see through even as well right on the inside. And then it's Hot Wheels trucking right on the side, HWC trucking. We even got this skew and, and number and all that good stuff right there. Year 2021, it is a 2021 release. Hot Wheels and the skew and stuff like that on there. Real Rider tires on there, six of them, of course. The wheels and axles, very, very nice. And on the back end right there, it's even got this little slot right here. I wonder if you could fit a trailer in. No, I guess there's not a full slot for you to fit any trailer on there. If we look at right here, oh, is this almost a defect on here? It looks like we even do have a slight paint defect right there, I would think. Yeah, I can feel it. It's like a little chip in the paint defect. Uh-oh, oh well, not like I really care that much. But anyways, very, very cool looking truck. I really, really do like this one. It's gonna be cool to have placed on our back right here as well. And our next one that we're opening up is a boxed up one. It is the Hot Wheels Datsun 240Z right here. You can see custom 72 Datsun 240Z. Very, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and does this one have any tab on it? No, this one you can just open up right away. There's no sticky piece on here. And let's grab that. We'll open that up right here. And did we see the number on it? What's the number on here? Here we go. We have 2,815 of 25,000. And let's go ahead. I really like the color of this one. Oh, look at that. Look at that just shining in the lights right there. Let's go ahead and pop it right open. I'll push these pieces out right there. And then it's got this little plastic piece on the inside, which we don't really care about. And there it is sitting right there. You can see it's got the engine right there sitting nicely with that little piece that opens and closes. So we'll close that down. And let's go ahead and take this completely right off right away. All right, there we go. We've got it completely unscrewed. The screw pieces and all that stuff are all falling out. We'll throw those all aside and let's get a nice look at the car completely off of its base right here. Look at the back detail, the exhaust, the lights that have come out right there. We even got this matte black finished lip spoiler on there. And then we've got like the matte black striping that comes down and across. And let's go ahead and grab that engine piece, open that completely up. Look at that. Look at how that opens. That is so cool. And look at the engine detail that we have on the inside right there. Very, very shiny nicely. And we can see the blacked out wheels right there. Very nice details in the wheels. I like the colored lip on them as well. It's kind of like a brushed metal lip color to it, which looks really neat. And we look in the bottom right here, you can see our base. We do have the real rider wheel tire combination on there. But if you're into the older JDMs and stuff, which a lot of you guys are, this is an excellent, excellent one to get your hands on. The Datsun 240Z RLC car. And the sixth car that we're opening up today is the 1970 Mustang Boss 302. This one's on a card, so it's gonna be easier to open. This one is included with some extra stuff right here, which we'll show you as well. So let's go ahead, get right to it, and we'll pop it right open. So this one does come with this patch. It's Hot Wheels RLC 21. It's a nice little patch. I guess it's got some sticky stuff on here. So you can uh, iron this onto a t-shirt or sweater or whatever you want to, which is pretty neat. I'll probably just put it on display here. And we'll grab the car out. And then there's also something in the front right here as well. We do have this little thing right here, which um, I can't remember what they actually call this. It's it's like a little, like a, almost looks like a bottle cap of some sort, but it's got the Mattel Hot Wheels 70 Mustang Boss 302 
on there and we can open it completely up if we want to. Uh, I'll just leave it for now. But uh, this one I'm gonna use, I'm a golfer, so I'm gonna use this as a golf ball marker. I think it's really cool to have a little golf ball marker that says Hot Wheels, Mattel Hot Wheels. That'd be cool. All right, we'll put that aside. There's our Mustang. Let's go ahead and open up our Mustang. Does it have a number on here? I don't think this one is numbered by any means. Don't see any number on here. Maybe I'm blind. Nope, uh, don't see a number. All right, well, whatever. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and pop this one open right here. Completely ripping the packaging, <laughs> but that's okay. And we'll grab the car. Packaging's everywhere here. We're throwing packaging around, throwing packaging that way now. There we go. All right, there it is. Our 1970 Mustang Boss 302. Another interesting color. It's almost like a, like an, a tangerine chrome orange. Very, very neat looking. I love like the tires on here. They look like a very thick, wide body tire on there. I love the front on that one as well. And I don't believe anything opens on this one. There's nothing particularly special that it does or opens or anything like that. Um, this one is probably one of the cheaper ones that I bought of all of them, but I think it does look excellent. Look at the detail of those lights on the back right there. The lips, lip spoiler right there looks really good. The striping, it's a matte finish striping that just goes down the center right there. And you can see it from the side, the, the little, I think it's RLC that it says right there. So I would have thought it would said Boss or 302 or whatnot, but I think it does say RLC, which is really neat. And then our front end look, there's our Mustang logo right in the front center right there. Classic design of this Mustang. And look at that. Look at it from this view as I rub my fingerprints right off of it. But it's an, I like this color. I really, really do like this color. I think it's, it's almost a little bit subtle for an RLC car, but I like it. It looks mean, it looks aggressive. It'd be neat to see a Mustang in this color in real life. But there it is, our Boss 302 from 1970 Mustang. Next up, we've got our big boxed one. This one is the Jeep Hot Wheels Jeep Willys, 1944 Willys MB Jeep. And this one does have a full working suspension. Absolutely crazy. We're gonna open this one up. We're gonna take it fully out right here and have a look how this suspension works on this one here. This is quite an expensive one to get as well but we're doing it for you guys here. All right, so we've taken it out of the box and then we've got, oh, look at this, really nice packaging all around here as well. Does this one have any sort of number or anything? I don't see any number on this. Maybe the number is right on the box itself. So lots of packaging on this one right here. And we'll take that little piece out right there and we'll pull that out. There we go. And we've got Looks like more packaging. All right, we got the packaging on the inside. Oh, look at this backing right here. That's really cool. A nice little setting for the backing so it kind of wraps around right here. That's pretty neat. All right, we'll put, take that aside. Um, and let's see in the bottom first if there's a number on this one right here. And there is. So we've got uh, six, oh, 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 six, 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 nine. Interesting number for this one, 6669. All right, of 20,000. Let's go ahead and pop open from the bottom first right here, these little pieces, and then we can open it completely up right here. And let's see if we can pull it just right open now. I think I've almost got it, there we go. All right, so we got another back setting piece right there, which we'll put aside and a little piece that holds it together. But there's our car. So we've got it sitting right here on this nice like off-road base, as you can see. Very, very cool. And it's got the full working suspension. So the suspension will move up and down. But we're gonna take it completely off and we're gonna have a look at how that suspension looks. So we've got these little tabs on the back right here. And we'll grab these and we'll take these completely apart. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do to make this easier? I've got a little little scissors here. We'll just scissor these off. And we'll scissor these off right here. And then we've got the car that's just coming right apart. And we'll scissor it off as well. There we go, we've got all these little bits of elastic piece holding it all together just because it has a very delicate suspension. Even these ones right here, which is really, really tiny. We'll pull those off. And there we go. We've got it completely open right here. And let's have a look 
at that suspension right here. So if we look really closely, you can see right inside of the suspension, there is springs. There is springs on the inside. And so you can go completely like that. We've got the complete suspension on here, which is really cool. There you can see the springs a lot better from the front view right there. You can see how they go. And on the back, you can see the big springs right there as well. So neat, I cannot believe that. Also another thing about this car as well, we look in the front right here and we can see the window that will open and close for you right there. So really, really neat how they have that opening and closing. And of course the great paintwork and detail. We've got a little gas tank on the back right there. The seats, you can see how nicely detailed they are with the harnesses and all of that good stuff. We got a winch on the front end of it. Just an absolutely amazing detailed Jeep Willys. They put a lot of thought into this and this one's got some sort of crawl on the back right there. Don't know the significance of that. The wheels even look really cool. There's those, like those classic Craigar mags that they have right there, but the suspension, it's just so neat. I just love the suspension. I don't know if I'm gonna break it or not just by doing this. You can hear it like makes a noise when you do that. Just that those springs on there, but it's very, very cool. We'll grab the base again as well. And the base you can play around with if you want. Uh, we can have it go just right there if we want to, or we can have it even go just right down here if you want to play around with it or display it or whatnot. But just such a cool looking car. So cool with the suspension. Very, very happy with this one. And on to our next one. We've got two left, including this one right here. This one's got the big Hot Wheels logo on the front and we flip it. Di Tommaso Mangusta, 1971. Di Tommaso Mangusta with a very cool feature on the back right here. This one I can just pop right open and we'll push it right out. And then a nice looking display right here. We can see it. There we go, Di Tommaso Mangusta, Real Riders. And what's our number on this one right here? 5582, 5582 of 20,000, interesting. Let's go ahead and pop it open right here and look at the Magusta. Let's go ahead and just completely open it right away as well. And we'll unscrew it before we even show you the rest of it here. So let's go ahead and do that. And here it is. We can see it up close now. And the interesting thing about this car that it does, the interesting function, you can see on the back right here, we've got these things with open, kind of like a butterfly door. Look at that, it's like a gull wing. It's like a Mercedes-Benz gull wing, but check out that. We've got the engines on the inside, engine, not engines. <laughs> and we can look on this side as well. And even if you look very, very closely, you can see there's a little Ford logo on the inside because it does have a Ford engine on the inside of these ones right here. But look at that. It's like kind of like a 70s supercar. Very, very nice color to it. It's almost similar to that Mustang that we opened up. Let's grab that Mustang. Eh, similar, maybe the Mustang color is a little bit darker right there, but still nonetheless looks fantastic. These wheels, which are period correct for this car, we go ahead and close those up and then we can get a nice look at the profile of the car right there. We look in the back, you can see the windows are, that are just exposing that nice, beautiful Ford engine on the back right there. The details on the back, Mangusta, it says on the license plate for this one right here. And on the front end, you can see the nice lights and all of that, but overall it's a neat looking car and it's gonna be cool to display with that up. I think we'll have to display it with that up. Very, very cool looking 1972 Dita Maso. Mangusta. And our last Hot Wheels RLC car that we are going to completely open up for you today is Mercedes-Benz 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. This is the Gullwing. That's right, the Gullwing Mercedes-Benz. I love this car. One of my favorite cars in real life. We'll go ahead and open it just right up right there. We can see the car coming out right there. Awesome. and. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. This one right here, I have already opened up. You guys have seen it in a previous video. I have already opened it up, but I do actually have three of these in total. So I do have another one right here, which is brand new, which is sealed, which I've never opened. I have another one on my shelf as well. So we can see a couple of them right here, but I've already opened this one up in a previous video. So I thought I'm not gonna open up another one for you guys, where I'll show you the one that I did previously open. So I have opened it. I just opened it up in a previous video. You guys have seen that, but here we have it. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. I love 
this car. It looks so cool, of course, because we've got the Gullwing doors on it that open and close. We can see, we'll shut those right there. And just look at that. One of the, probably one of the first supercars ever made in real life. This one right here became very popular. It was very fast in the 1950s. Of course, to today's standards, it's probably not that fast, but still, nonetheless, it's just a thing of beauty. And Hot Wheels did a great, great casting of it right here. And of course, because of the Gullwing doors that open up. Great looking interior on there as well. Nice details. And just look at the Gullwing. Just look at that. Look at it with it open. Does that not look amazing? They stay up properly as well. They don't get stuck. They don't flop down or anything like that. So you can display it very, very nicely. But you can see right here, just a gorgeous, gorgeous looking car, especially with those Gullwing doors. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. And there we have it guys, all 10 of our brand new Hot Wheels RLC cars that we opened up today. If you guys really appreciated this video, please hit that like button. It would mean a lot to me. This video cost me a lot to do for you guys, but I'm more than happy to share with you all these amazing Hot Wheels RLC cars. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.